And I've heard your stories as I've traveled all across the state over the last 10 months. You've told me your stories. And all too often, they've been stories of struggle and stories of hardship. I've met senior citizens who've seen CEOs dump the pensions of the companies they used to work for, even as the CEOs are pocketing bonuses for themselves, leaving their workers holding the bank. I've seen folks who still can't afford their prescription drugs, even though we passed a prescription drug bill. Costs hundreds of billions of dollars, and yet, because the drug companies were able to get a provision in there that said we couldn't negotiate for the cheapest available price on drugs, you've still got folks who are having to take half a dose of their drugs because they can't afford a full dose, even though their doctors tell them it's going to threaten their health. I've met Maytag workers who have spent a lifetime building up a brand, creating profits for the shareholders, creating quality products, and yet still see their jobs shipped off to Mexico and are trying to figure out now how they're going to survive and raise their families on a job paying eight bucks an hour, nine bucks an hour at the local Walmart. I've listened to teachers who are working at donut shops after school is finished because that's the only way they can afford to make ends meet. And I've heard from teachers who are still digging into their pockets to buy school supplies for children because the schools don't have enough money. I've heard young people express uncertainty about their future, anxiousness about whether or not they're going to be able to have a life at least as good as their parents did. Americans don't expect government to solve all their problems. They don't expect that they're not going to have to work hard. They know that they've got to sacrifice and plan and sweat to succeed and achieve their dreams. But what they also expect is if they're able and willing to work, they should be able to find a job that pays a living wage. They believe that they, that they shouldn't be bankrupt when they get sick, that they should be able to send their kids to college where they should be able to go to college even if they're not wealthy, that they should be able to retire with some dignity and some respect. It's not a lot that they're looking for. And although they understand that government can't solve all their problems, and they don't want government to solve all their problems, what they do expect is that government should at least be able to help knock down some of the barriers that stand in the way of people achieving their dreams.